Hey guys, so I am on my way to Tyler Bend Campground again, and I know I've done a couple of videos on Tyler Bend already, but this time is special because we will be floating the river, and it'll be my first float of this season, and it'll be Bruiser's first float ever. We've got the Adventure Mobile right here. So I think what I'm going to try to do is settle myself with my bicycle. So, so we're now practicing riding the bicycle around the campground with Bruiser in his carrying bag. It's so funny because Bruiser's ears like all of a sudden got bigger overnight. And they're now facing forward instead of off to the sides. You ready for bed, baby? You ready for bed? Just to explain some floating terms for those of you who are not familiar, so a shuttle is basically your way of getting from point B back to point A, so if you put in the river at point A and then you float to point B, you have to find a way to get yourself back to point A where your car is, so there's a lot of different options for a shuttle, so you can have a company drive your car to the takeout location, which is what's called a private shuttle, or like I've been talking about, you can ride your bicycle back to your car or you can hike back to your car. So lots of different options there. So at this point, I pretty much talked myself out of doing the bike shuttle. And the main reason for that is that Bruiser is just so little. Um, so my options would be to do Tyler Bend to Gilbert, which would be a 5.4 mile float with the 8.5 mile bike ride. Or I could do Tyler Bend to Shinai, which would be about a two and a half mile float and a five mile bike ride and I think both of those bike rides would just be a little bit too long for Bruiser um, since it's his first float trip I don't want to traumatize him. What I might do tomorrow morning is just stop by the outfitters and see what the prices are for private shuttles and then go from there. Anyways good night y'all. Good morning y'all so like I said last night I think I am going to pay for a private shuttle Right now I'm just getting all of my floating gear together and it's important to understand that floating the river is a dangerous activity so it's important to take the time to make sure that you have the right safety gear and everything is functioning properly. Um, now the stretch that I'm doing today is a pretty calm and mild stretch but that doesn't mean that accidents can't happen. So. Here's all of the things that I normally keep in my river bag. The Buffalo River requires that every boat have a life jacket on board as well as a mesh bag to put trash in. Um, this is Bruiser's carrying bag along with my plastic waterproof case for my phone. Um, this is my lunch right here. I made a sandwich with some chips, extra water. Here I have my satellite device, an extra pair of glasses in case my contacts fall out in the water, and this pepper spray gun that my mom just bought me. And then this is the same stuff that I have in my hiking bag. I keep it in this bag just to make it easy to transfer it from the hiking bag to the floating bag, but it has all of my other safety gear. And then finally a change of clothes because it is a little bit chilly outside today. So if you get wet, it's important to be able to change into some dry clothes. Okie dokie, we are heading out now. Bruiser's doing pretty good so far. Yeah. Well, we're about halfway through our float trip. We stopped at Shinai to eat some lunch and relax for a few minutes, but Bruiser's doing a great job so far. Right as we were getting on the river, I was putting Bruiser in his little carrying bag and the zipper actually broke. So I've been just holding him in my arms as we're floating. And luckily it's been working out pretty well so far. At first he didn't want to stay in the boat and kept trying to jump out. So eventually I just let him jump out and he got cold and wet. So he decided he was going to stay in the boat after that. This is our second stop of our trip. We are on a gravel bar. A little, a little bit longer to go to Gilbert. Beautiful day outside. This guy, he's always got a stick. Check out this cool looking rock. Well, I made it off the river, got the boat all loaded up, and now we are heading to our campsite for tonight. So I'm actually going to check out a campsite that I haven't been to before. All right, so we made it to our campsite a little while ago and I've just been getting all of my floating stuff unpacked and my car reorganized. So here is my campsite for the night. So this would actually be a cool spot if you had like multiple vehicles or a group of people. We got a fire ring here. 
a nice big open area. And then we also have another fire ring over here. I guess Bruiser's worn out from our float trip. He just wants to hang out in the car. Good morning, y'all. So last night I forgot to film a good night video, but we slept really well at our new camping spot and now we are heading to work, back to cleaning Airbnbs. Until next time.